Hi, you guys. My name is Kaida Patterson, and I am an executive director with Paparazzi Accessories. And what I'm going to show you today is how to package some outgoing shipments, okay? So let me just show you a couple things that you'll need. Um, you need bubble mailers. These ones are 4 by 6 okay? These ones are 6 by 10 And if you need bigger ones, you can get these free from the post office. You can get the priority bubble mailer envelopes, okay? You can also create a um, uh, account online and have them shipped to you directly. You can um, order all the shipping supplies from the U.S. Postal Service, okay? Make sure you got your business cards, okay? Now, we actually have an order that we're going to bag up. So, the one thing that um, I want to show you is when I have these longer pieces, like this one right here, I like to wrap these in tissue paper because I don't want them to, to get tangled. So you can just get the tissue paper from the dollar store. You just need one sheet at a time. Now, I wish I could show you how I package it, but what I generally do is just lay it flat because you can't see it. Lay it flat and then just lay the piece of jewelry right down in the middle and I'll show you real quick. Can you see that? Lay it down like that. Okay, then you just fold it up and wrap it neatly. And then I wrap it up and then I fold it. So let me show you again. There it is wrapped up. And then, sorry about that. And then I fold it in threes. Okay. And then there it is. So that way it doesn't get tangled. And then I just tape it down. And I got just a thing of tape from the dollar store. Okay. Then I just, there we go. I tape it down. Okay. So this person has quite a few orders. And I got another long piece. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap all those up. And then I'm going to put them in here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video I'm gonna finish wrapping everything up and then I'm gonna come back and show you how I put it in the package okay okay I'm back so one thing I will tell you is around Valentine's Day these come out at the dollar store and I try to buy as many as possible that'll last me the whole year. But when you get a piece that you know won't get tangled, but you still want to put it in a bag, these are the bags that I use for the jewelry like that. Because I know this won't get tangled, but I still want to make sure that it's in a nice bag. So this customer had five pieces of jewelry, and there were some nice big bold pieces. So I wrapped those in tissue paper. So here's all of them. Okay. Now, this one is going to require the big package, okay? So, you're going to pack that in there neatly, okay? So, let me package that in there. And I like to put some of the big ones right on top. So, I got these two ones. These are the biggest ones. I'm going to slide that all the way down to the bottom. And then, I'm going to put these ones at the top. And at minimum... For what you want to put inside your um, bags, you want to at least include your business card. If you have marketing materials, like if it's someone that you want to join your team, you can include marketing materials, but you always want to include your business card. And you can write on the back like thank you or something like that. Um, or if you have the thank you cards from back office, you can write a nice thank you note. And then what I like to do is just make sure it's all down in there. And then I fold it. I fold it over extra so that it doesn't slide inside the package. I fold it over extra. And then I'm going to just close it and I'm going to show you how. So I fold it over as far down as everything will go. And then I just seal it. There we go. And that's how I package your order. Okay really inexpensive get you some bubble mailers get you some tissue paper and at minimum get you some business cards now what i will tell you is every package of paparazzi um jewelry that i get i save the bubble wrap that comes in it because some of the jewelry when it comes you might want to do an extra cushion 
okay? And you can wrap these, especially a really good pair of earrings. You can wrap them in that, tape it closed, and then slide it in the package, okay? Now, what I do for shipping purposes, I ship everything through PayPal. So create you a PayPal business account is completely free. And then I do my invoicing through PayPal. You don't have to do your invoicing through PayPal. It makes life a lot easier because when they pay for their invoice, they include their shipping address and then the system will automatically create them a label. So you just create the label. Okay. And then I actually have what's called a Dymo thermal printer. Now you can use a regular printer, but I will tell you that in the end, the most cost effective way is to have a Dymo thermal printer. Okay. So you get these labels right here. There's 400 or 500 labels on this roll and you get like two rolls for like $15. Okay. I bought four rolls. Um, this is my last one because there's still one in there. And then this is what the printer looks like. That's it. You just hook it to your computer and you, hit, you click print and that's easy. There's no ink, no nothing. So, really easy. It prints out the label. It's on a sticker. You just rip that sticker right off and throw it right on there. And then you can either drop the package off at the post office or um, have a schedule a pickup for them to come get your packages. So, when you create the account on USPS.com, you can also use the same account to schedule a pickup and they'll come pick your packages up from you. Okay, which is really awesome. So when I say that this is really like a home-based business, it's really a home-based business. I don't wait in line at the post office. I just go in, drop off my packages, and that's it. I schedule, I don't schedule a pickup because I live in a townhouse and we have like mailboxes that we have to go to. So I just got go to the post office right up the street. It's real easy. So if there's any questions that you have about what you just saw in the video, packaging, you know, materials. It doesn't have to be expensive to package your your stuff at all. You get the um, the mailers from either eBay or Amazon. You get the tissue paper at the dollar store. You obviously order your business cards. You can get those through Vista Print or anywhere where you can print business cards. And then just figure out how you want to do your shipping. Do you want to take it to the post office and give them the address and they create the label for you or do it from home? Oh, another reason I do it from home, for example, one to four pieces of jewelry is usually about like under five ounces. Well, if you go to the post office, you're going to pay $3.50. But if you use PayPal shipping, it's only $2.66. That's worth it. Okay. So again, this is Kaida from Keats Boutique. So if you got any questions, you can send me an email at keatsboutique at gmail.com or you can find me on Facebook under Keats Boutique and send me a message on there. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.